there. Welcome to Glasgow as Prize Fighter comes from Scotland for the first time. It looks like being the most competitive of the series so far. Ed Robinson sets it up. It's England against Scotland all the way in the first round of tonight's Prize Fighter as the groundbreaking knockout tournament goes north of the border. Couldn't have, couldn't, you could have rigged that up better and say four Scottish boys against four English boys. Um, again, every boy very, very hungry. It's going to be, as they say, it's the tightest draw so far. Local lightweight hopes Ryan Brawley, Gary MacArthur and Charlie King have a combined record of 34 fights without a defeat. If I wasn't confident, I wouldn't have entered the prize fighter, basically. I've got every belief in myself, same as all the other boys, you know. I'm up for the job just as much as they're up for the job. But they've never been tested like this before. The winner will have to come through three three-round bouts with the quarters, semis and finals all taking place this evening. Dug so deep. Is there more drama? I love watching it. Uh, it always brings up some good tussles and uh, it's great for the public to watch. The format might suit pressure fighters like Scott Stewart Green, Steve Saville or Ben Murphy. I'll be going forward, I'll be throwing many, many punches, like non-stop, aggressive, all power, everything, you know. Although the same could be said for Southpaw Paul Holborn or unbeaten former top amateur Stephen Burke. But then the magic of prize fighter is there are no guarantees except excitement. You know, everyone will be going in there fully 100% confident as, as probably they usually do, yeah, but the same for me as well. I'm going in there 100% confident and I want to win. I think I want to be the last man standing, so say no more. Well, he's up for it, that's for sure. Let's get confirmation of the quarter-final lineup then. The fifth strong Ben Murphy faces the unbeaten Scotsman Ryan Brawley. Motherwell's Charlie King meets the classy Paul Holborn. Clyde Banks' Gary MacArthur faces the exciting Steve Saville. Another of our Scottish representatives, Stuart Green, takes on former amateur star Stephen Burke. Well, our prize fighters arrived in style. In the rain, a stretch limo to bring them to the historic Calvin Hall. All dreaming of walking away with a trophy. And the winner's check for £25,000. Our eight-man lineup includes four unbeaten fighters, three current champions, a really good mix. It's the calm before the storm. Who will be the last man standing? Well, as always, we have two wild cards waiting in the wings. Welshman Damien Owen and Stokes Gary Reid on standby if a winning fighter is cut or injured and can't continue. Glenn McCrory and Johnny Nelson all set for what they believe could be the most exciting prize fighter yet. Uh, it really is a terrific mix and really up for all these fighters. I've got to be one of the biggest fans of prize fighter because it's so hard to, to, to pick a champion, to pick a winner. And this one it is, is so evenly matched in so many different ways. Again, it's hard to put your finger on the winner. Lots of unknowns, so much to gain, Glenn, from a victory. Uh, you know, th this competition is going to really just propel somebody up to another level. And when you think you've got four undefeated fighters there, they all want to be at that next level. Well, is the closeness reflected in the odds? Let's head ringside. Join our bookie, Dale Tempest, with Adam Smith. So another exciting evening ahead and a really wide open betting market amongst these lightweights, Dale. Who are the punters piling on? Our odds compilers can't split the guys. The punters can't split them. We've got seven boxers between four to one and seven to one. It's the closest prize fighter we've ever had. Ryan Brawley, just slightly favorite there at four to one. Steve Saville, nine to two. Stephen Burke was five to one into nine to two. He's being backed. And Ben Murphy there at fives. He's the other boxer who's good money, seven to one early. Six is Holborn, six is King, seven's McCarthy, and Green the outsider at 12. Yeah, McCarthy's interesting at 7-1. Also, some added spice, England v Scotland, all the quarter-finals and some special bets as well. Yes, yeah, it's a great draw, isn't it? We've just to, If you don't know the boxers, you can play the patriotic card. We've got even money, a Scotsman, 8-11, to 11, an Englishman. You take your choice. You've got four boxers on your side and we're going to be doing that all the way through the evening. It's too close to call and that's why we love Prize Fighter. It's going to be exciting, that is for sure. Let's meet the first of our prize fighters, two men with just one defeat between them. I think I'm physically very strong for a lightweight. 
want to see how someone is going to hold me off. I think I've got the right style to win this competition. Very, very confident. As confident as I can be, 100% committed to winning. Good boxer. Good on my toes. Awkward style. Really confident. It's the biggest chance. Maybe, maybe the only chance that we get to prove myself. I wouldn't have put my unbeaten record on the line if I didn't think I was going to win it. Just gives me a chance to prove that I'm one of the best lightweights in Britain. Good way to start the evening. Ben Murphy fits strong and relentless. Also carries a bit of power. Six to five. He is with the bookmakers. Up against Ryan Brawley, the bookies' favourite. Tall, quick-fisted Southpaw, who's unbeaten, picks his shots well and stays cool under pressure. The commentators this evening, Adam Smith and a man who celebrated so many great nights here at the Kelvin Hall in Glasgow, Jim Watt. Our MC of the evening is John McDonald. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the legendary Kelvin Hall, Glasgow, Scotland, for the prize fighter series, a lightweight division. Proudly presented by Barry Hearn for Matchroom Sport and sponsored here by PartyPoker.com. All the gloves supplied by Lonsdale. We are live and exclusive on Sky Sports and this is Prize Fighter, the Lightweight. All the officials appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control, the Scottish Area Council, the steward in charge, Mr. Bernard Connolly. Area representative is Brian McAllister. And our officials appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. Our judges are John Keane of Wellingborough, Victor Lachlan of Paisley, Scotland, and Terry O'Connor of Birmingham. Our referee in charge of our very first quarterfinal is Mr. Day Paris of Leeds. This is quarterfinal number one, the prize fighter series, the lightweights. Three rounds of boxing introducing to you firstly. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks, trimmed with silver, weighing in at nine stone, 10 pounds, eight ounces. Undefeated, nine contests, nine wins, one inside the scheduled distance. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from Irvine, Scotland, it's Ryan Across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks trimmed with white, weighing in at nine stone, ten pounds, eight ounces. Seven fight record, six wins, three inside the scheduled distance, and with one defeat. He's from uh, Hove. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Ben Murphy! <laughs> Timekeeper at the bell is Mr. Jim Kirkwood, and our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Dave Paris. This is three. Three minute rounds. You know the rules, boys. Punch with an upper part of the glove. If one of you go down, the other go to the furthest to your corner. Break when I tell you to. Defend yourself at all times. Shake hands, boys. Good luck to you both. Well, some critics are uh, picking this prize fighter in the grand old Kelvin Hall as the best on paper yet.